Hello and welcome people back to a Let's Play Folklore. What the hell is up with this encoding? Ah, never mind, I'll have to look at it later. Uh, All I see is a loading screen. It, there, there was something really weird going on on that, uh, on that safe screen, but whatever. Uh, here I was, uh, I just wasn't exactly certain which time of the day it is because, well, Keats lives in the cave, so I had to, I had to look outside. Mm. <laughs> and then go right, right, right back in. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's the night. I can get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good old-fashioned liquor. Yeah, and the reason why I'm showing this is because I want to, uh, I want to also show off uh, all of the conversation that he has with the villagers because I didn't do that in the last part. Right, and also save again. And oh god, no! Guess what, what happened? happened? So yeah, 114, it's this very special number that always breaks the recording for some god knows what reason. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just, let's just talk to all of the peoples. As in, she's not actually in the church. Or at least not that you can see. <laughs> or at least we have finished that side quest, so it's kind of irrelevant anymore. Yeah. There isn't anybody else uh, to check there anymore, at least. She was convinced she was, though, and that's what mattered. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, she, she thought that she was responsible for everything. And, well, I mean, that would cause a mental breakdown, especially, especially with someone as, uh, sensitive as she is. Right. Which we did. And we came back to the yeah. quests. <laughs> and let's uh, uh, let's talk to our oracle of uh, <laughs> our knowledge of our our main source of intel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's our Otacon. Yeah. You don't have to say anything. I already know. <laughs> she can read minds. <laughs> well, I think we already established that. <laughs> Charlotte is like the best character in this game. <laughs> Other than Scarecrow. She she's like <laughs> That, that one awesome NPC that, that just knows everything for no good reason. She's like the dogs from Wild Arms 1. Right. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah sure. Let's let's switch with Alan for no good reason, because I'm going to switch to Keith regardless. You just wanted right. to feel pretty for a while. I I just wanted to have uh, the bright physics. <laughs> yeah. And uh, by the way, uh, when it comes to going through the uh, the entire level uh, as either one of the characters, I'm going to do that with. Uh, I'm going to do that primarily with Keats, and then include uh, a sped-up version of going with uh, going through with Alan uh, in the in the side quests. Got it. I don't, I, I, I'm doing all of those things really out of order, so I don't remember which 
uh, I, I don't really have a uh, particular setup of which one is it where I uh, take care of it. Yeah. Uh, because again, uh, I got to the next save point and I wanted to. Uh, I did a whole bu a bunch of quests, and it just turns out that uh, well, another one spoils the the area we're n we're not going to visit yet. So yeah, here I'm coming back with Alan uh, to retrieve the final cloak that we missed out on. Well, we didn't miss out on uh, on it yet. It's just that we haven't had a chance to pick it up. I'm gonna even this. And I, this is I don't, gone. This is a lo uh, the uh, overview of how you're supposed to get it. All of the numbers represent the uh, locations you're supposed to enter. I have already done it like in a whole bunch of runs, and this is the last one you're supposed to get. Now there is something really weird about the uh, about this uh, particular little quest, is that um, it seems that the f uh, the fifth cloak, uh, the the fifth crystal, you don't need to destroy it. Huh. Yes, because what happened was I did most of them on my first run. Oh my god! What the fuck? Yeah, it does not fit her at all. What? No, no, get that shit out of here. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not going to be wearing that. Don't worry. What, the cloak is there an alternate version of it? Yes, it's even worse. The, 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 I, I now I have to know. Now I have to see it. We'll see it. <laughs> just, just no, no, no. Like all of her other ones, even the alternate cloaks are at least like decent. Yeah, the the no. alternate fairy cloak is amazing, though. <laughs> and yeah. those two are pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> right. <clears throat> but yeah, the, the, like the the cloak of the Midnight Sun, it's, it's just so boss that all of the other cloaks may not exist at all. You know what I thought, though, immediately, like, before I looked down when I initially just saw the hood? Mm -hmm. At first I thought, oh, the cloak has her dressed like her mother. That's actually really cool and symbolic. But then you look down and it's like, oh god, no. Yeah. <laughs> and this, uh, the uh, the entrance of the Netherworld core isn't actually at the lighthouse as you may think. It's actually uh, it's actually at the hand. It's a That's little weird. bit confusing. It's weird. We already talked to those NPCs before, so we're going to talk to them anyway. <laughs> okay. Bloom cloak. It, it's amazing that the cloak doesn't have its bloom when you're talking to people. But it does everywhere else. No, 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 it does sometimes. It depends on the lighting. Entirely on the lighting. Uh, well, in this area it doesn't. No, just... in this area, this is a bloom-free area. Uh, but for example, if you talk to uh, if you talk to just about anybody and uh, say uh, the fairy realm, for example, the fairy realm is just drenched in blue or, uh, in bloom. Uh, another realm that's like that, um, Arcadia, I guess, in some areas. Uh, no, that said, without the bloom, I actually like the cloak better. Yeah, me too. But like in Fairy Realm, it's just ridiculous how much there is. And here right. we have the introduction to a place we've already seen, actually. It's interesting how weirdly normal this whole place is. Right. Oh, hey, Keats, what's up? Yes. It's like like and... it's like it's like night and day. Mm-hmm. Uh, and by the way, uh, I was wrong with one thing I said before. I said you can easily switch between Keats and Alan uh, if you want to. Uh, if you want to do uh, like collect all of the folks and whatnot, not entirely true. You can only do that here. If you want to switch uh, switch them in general, you can do it on, uh, only at the pub. Which is still a lot more convenient than it was before, but it's uh, what I said before wasn't exactly true. They they won't join you 
uh, they won't join you in the other realms. I do like how, though, uh, if you talk to Keats, he's like, just let me do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let, let, let me handle this. Interestingly enough, uh, when you cross this entire netherworld with Keats, it's a lot more difficult than it is with Elam. Oh. That's surprising. That's like a first. That's, that's like a first in the final world. <laughs> And here I was kind of confused to which one I was I was actually talking to, so I talked to this uh, the same guy three times in a row. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, they do look exactly the same. Racist. They don't even have names. They're just <laughs> fairy. Turns out they're all the same person. Yes. This place doesn't even have any music. Yeah. The final uh, scarecrow says the final memory is in the midst of the netherworld core. And so it's in that giant thing we see. And what a beautiful place it is. So yeah, actually, because of me doing that one quest before, I got a whole bunch of folks that you're only supposed to find way later on in this level. Like the overweight fairy. Well, no, the overweight fairy is well, uh, like right here. But <laughs> yeah. there is a whole bunch of uh, there is a whole bunch that you don't find until way later in the in the level. Like the the ne uh, the whole next section. Which has a completely different design than uh, than this location, actually. Interesting. <clears throat> and the next location um, is probably the only place in this game where, uh, other than Warcadia, uh, where there is actually screen tearing going on. It's not too noticeable. It's not the Drakengard free screen tearing or most PS3 games screen tearing or God of War 2 screen tearing but it's still like you can see it if you go frame by frame mm. well time to absorb this guy mm -hmm. we've seen him before it's just that we didn't have a chance to uh, get him which this there was actually were no smarter about it well no the, the last time I was like it, he's pretty big yeah. so pro I probably have to Oh my god, uh, that guy's name. Oh. What? It's like impossibly long. Uh, yeah, that's just kind of how it is. I'm just, I'm just gonna call and him the Human Torch. Look, uh, look at, uh, look at this person here who appears on this picture. Yeah. So they want you to use the guy you just ate. It's just general fire and fire and use more fire. Got it. So we're gonna be sticking with the dragon. Yes, is uh, uh, Durandal is the greatest. <laughs> huh, Rosen, Rosen, uh, aunt. Or not? Uh, it's. I, you're, I you're, don't think. I don't think it's frozen. You're walking on water. Oh my God, Keats is Jesus. I knew it. No, no, no. There were like. It, it like actually has uh, regular water physics. It's really nice okay. how they trim the grass. How they trim the grass in this location. And in patterns. Mm-hmm. Someone put a lot of attention to detail in this play. I wonder if anybody goes uh, golfing in here. <laughs> Just with the giant netherworld core in the background. Imagine hitting a golf ball in there on accident. How much of a pain in the ass that must be. That's why you that's why you get multiple of them. <laughs> what are we looking at? I was basically uh, I was basically looking through uh, all of them at this point because I distinctly remember that one of them uh, one of the folks required uh, required to kill those. 
in order to level up. However, I did not remember that the folk that actually required uh, required that was um, was the troll, and I had already done it. Ah. Uh. So I just kind of uh, go through all of them anyway. And yeah. since. Uh, Was at max. Yeah, troll is at max, and since he had everything at max, I didn't even, I didn't really bother to read, read. through what he has required. <laughs> and well, but it I was mean, worth it, though. well, I mean, some of them, uh, some of the folks are uh, like, uh, there are a couple ones which uh, which are required for multiples. Like, for example, there's so many they, that have a vendetta against Gargantura. <laughs> it's... Like, th there's just so many that require to kill a Gargantura in order to level up. Or this Brolochan or whatever, uh, whatever he's called. Right. I like to think that the golems are patiently waiting for you as you're scrolling through all your shit right now. Yes. They're just like, come on, dude. Really? And they're really dumb uh, when you actually fight them with Alan. It's... They do very weird things. Yeah, he's actually pretty good because he doesn't consume that much uh, that much M uh, MC. Right. And also, it it is definitely uh, like the uh, the thing about. Uh, you remember how I uh, how I mentioned before that they become way easier to uh, way easier to deal with once you absorb one of them. Yeah. That is absolutely true. Ah. Because Alan, Alan also has to get him. He's just as much of a pain in the ass to deal with, and becomes so much easier once you get one of them. Good to know. He's a, this one's also good because if you if you position yourself nicely, you get two hits in, as opposed to just one. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. At least when I don't feel like it. If I if I feel like it, I have uh, I have time for that. And here is another one of those. So you don't even really need to go that other to that other area around uh, outside of uh, outside of maybe getting the um, what's that? Who's it? Uh, outside of getting the uh, picture book page. Alright. But you know, we, we, we want to get stuff. I don't right. know if I have every uh, every picture book with every character. Um, uh, with both of the characters. I'm not sure of that. And if I'm missing something, I may or may not go, uh, go out to get it, depending on how much, uh, how much pain it is to actually get them. Do you even get anything for getting all book pages? Not as far as I know. Outside of just, you know, completing things. I'm also not certain if uh, extra folks are required for you to... Uh, are required for you to get the... Um, uh, get a completion bonus. Because for getting, uh, for getting all of the... F uh, like... Uh, I got... Uh, I get a, a, the 100% completion... Uh, bonus in uh, once I collect all of the folks with both Keats and Alan that I know for certain. Um, and uh, but I'm I'm not sure if they actually I I know for certain that they don't count the DLC folks because uh, there is like a non-determined amount of them. Like uh, say, when it comes to extra ones, they will tell you if you're missing uh, if you're missing one of them. But when it comes to DLC ones, uh, the selection is uh, is just as big as, uh, as 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 many as you get. So you have to kill 
ten human torches with Kraken, apparently. Yes, yes. May or may not do that. Because, I, do it. Uh, I mean, Kraken is pretty spiffy. Just, just, just break the curve. There you go. <laughs> oh no, it was moving slightly to the right. I think that, uh, like, when they have motion blur going around them, uh, that means they're invulnerable. And what the hell happened to those hands? I think they just, I think they just slid up the uh, the rock and just got uh, got propelled. Uh, Probably. Yeah, something like that. Man, and, and as we know, whenever he puts uh, he puts his uh, hands in the pockets, that means there is, uh, there aren't any more folks to deal with in the, in the place. And also when he stops glowing, but the uh, but the hands and pockets are more important. Indeed. Never remove this outfit. Uh, no, no, no! I am going to remove it for the uh, for the hundred percent completion bonus. You'll like it. Oh, hey, Ellen! You were totally here the whole time. Mm-hmm. Holds it right in. Where? Oh, hi! It's Douche Lord. Uh, this is, is a different plan. really surprised? This is a different plan than from before, by the yeah. way. Yeah. So yeah, he was lying to his people and Alan. Well, dude, you had already almost nearly severed your tide with humans to begin with. This is kind of unnecessary. No, but what they mean is slightly different. See, because uh -huh. the connection is severed from uh, from the netherworld to the humans, but not the other way around. And as we will see in one of the quests that explores his backstory, uh, we will see his motivation behind all of this. Right. Not that it uh, not that it makes him a uh, a likable villain, but at least there is a reason. <laughs> Keith, you lying shit. <laughs> God damn it. And this fight is super easy with Keats. I, I, I imagine. Also, watch out for the portal to the left. If you get if you get thrown into it, you do get teleported back to the previous area. Huh. It's weird. That they would do that for a, uh, d during a boss fight. You know, I considering we got exactly one uh, picture page so far. I I just a mad like I just got a funny image where like Keats is venturing through here, right? Picks up mm. the picture book. Oh, what does this tell me? And it's literally just in bold text: "Set the fairy lord on fire." I mean, would you put it past the inhabitants? Thankfully, nothing that he summons, because, well, he's a bitch, he's going to summon things, right. uh, is actually resistant to fire. And because of how absolutely glorious the Dorandal is, I don't even need to aim for them to kill them. <laughs> this is an amazing way to cheese this. It is. And it's. I, I love that you do have a choice of doing this fight with either Keats or Ellen. Right. Oh yeah, screw that. You know, this makes me wish that this game were two-player. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Although granted, they would probably only do the two-player thing during, like, this area and side quests, but still, it'd be neat. Mm-hmm. Or, I mean, since they did aim for a lot of, uh, uh, we, uh we're gonna, uh, there's gonna be a scene in a moment, so. Okay, yeah, finish your thought after it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That 
that face, Scarecrow. It's it's pretty cute. <laughs> And oh, yes, <laughs> Fairy Lord is dead. So was that sword the same sword Levain used? No, she uses spears. Oh, okay. I could have swore she said she used a sword to stab the tree or something. Whatever. Uh, no, no. Uh, it's they always said it was a spear. My bad. And it, it, and we actually when we actually get there, it is actually still a spear. Got it. <laughs> and he still laughs. I knew it. The Phantom of the Opera was evil the entire time. Besides, that's where your where your lost memories are. <laughs> yeah, you're not competent enough to do this, Alan. <laughs> except that, except that this this next location is absolutely bullshit. Uh, with with Keats, I I would need to do it anyway, but it's uh, it's quite a pain with him because he gets a whole bunch of really annoying folks to deal with, like. Uh, the top tier annoyingness. <laughs> <laughs> 